Hi everybody, I'm going to start with an introduction. So my name is Meg Thompson and I am a certified behavioral consultant and life coach. So I hang out with the hard kids, I hang out with the kids that have challenging behaviors. And for the past eight years I've realized that there are two ways you can approach the situation. One is through love and one is through fear. So if you know me at all, you know that I always, 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 always say choose love. Me, myself, I always choose love. We have to start figuring out how to do the same. I go into schools and homes, talk to kids, and there's so much fear being chosen. We are gonna figure out how to choose love. We're gonna talk about fear-based strategies. We're gonna talk about why they cannot happen. And then um, we are going to figure out where those love strategies are, where to find them, how to craft them, and how to use them. Okay, so let's talk about fear-based strategies. Here we go. Here's number one, fear-based strategy. Ignore the behavior. Done. Out. It's out. Okay? This one makes me sweat. Reward systems of any kind. Sticker charts. Out. Token systems, out. Anything where you earn points or cards, out. Anything where you lose recess, out. Anything where you lose points, out. Lose recess, out. All of those, out. Clip down systems or clip up systems depend if you are optimistic, optimistic or pessimistic. They're both out. Why? Why do I say choose love? Why do I say fear is out? Here we go. Look, I wrote, up, wrote it all down. Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We all know it. We all had to take a class on it to become a teacher. We all had to take child growth and development probably. This should have been in it. If it's not, grab a piece of paper and pencil and write it down. So these first four, can you see them till you get to this red line? One, two, three, four. Those are authentic needs because we are teaching humans. All humans have them. Remember, all humans have them. If you're a teacher of dogs or monkeys or gorillas or dung beetles or llamas, not sure. All humans have these authentic needs. They have to be met before we get right to this one right here. The, oh, you can't even see that. Oh, there we go. They all have to be met. Let's go over them. Without them, you are in a deficit. We do not want kids in a deficit. I promise you, if you have kids that are hard and have challenging behaviors, they already feel like they're in a deficit. Choosing fear doesn't make them choose love. Here we go. Physiological needs. So eating, sleeping, going to the bathroom. That is in physiological needs. That is number one, right? That's tier one. That's the first one. Safety needs. Hey guys, guess what? This is why we choose love right here. On the second tier is why we choose love. Physical safety. That's important. Of course it's important. We don't want kids getting hurt physically. We also don't want them getting hurt how? Yep, emotionally. How do you think that's going, guys? When we choose fear, what's happening? We are hurting a child's emotional wellness. I promise you, if you go and find all the research on all the systems I just ripped up, there is no, none, zero, zilch, nada, no research on how these programs work. And it's not an or, it's an and. And keep a child's emotional wellness intact. There isn't any research. Know that I have a document in my computer that has all the research that proves they don't work and they upset a child's emotional wellness. We can't choose them. We can't use them. We can't even think about it because we don't want kids stuck at physical and emotional safety. What's the next one? What's tier three? Love and belonging, that's relationships and environments. So you are the teacher in charge of the sticker chart and now the kid doesn't get the sticker and you have to tell them, what did you just do? You upset this one. You're only gonna love me when I don't make mistakes 
and when I am good and I make good choices. And I'm not sure I trust you now that when I make a mistake, you are going to not give me a sticker. Choose fear. When you choose love, this is still intact. The last one, number four, because we are teaching humans, is self-esteem. We need all this to be empowering and go right so we can have kids with positive self-esteem. When and only when we have kids with positive self-esteem, what do we get to do? We get to jump outside authentic needs and we get to get to number five, which is need to know and understand. You know what all us teachers want kids to do? We want them to love learning. We want them to crave it and be curious and jump in and use imagination. Yeah, right? We can't do that when we choose fear. Why? Because kids are stuck here. When we choose fear, kids are stuck in these four. We can't have kids stuck in those four because what happens? They don't want to read. They don't want to research. They don't want to do math. They don't want to do science. They don't want to do social studies. They don't want to be together. They don't want to be with us. We need to choose love all the time. 98% of the time, a challenging behavior is a lack of skill or an unmet need. And then we have to use our two best friends of time and patience to teach that skill and meet that need. As a teacher, we get kids for one year. Did you learn to read in a year? No. Did you learn to regulate your emotions in a year? No. Did you learn fractions in a year? No. A lot of kids are not going to learn the skills that they have to learn in one year. We have to plant the seed and be a gardener, choose love, and get that seed to bloom. I will be back in a little bit to talk to you about where those that 98% comes from, right? Where do we choose love? How do we get there? Until then, choose love. Get rid of fear and speak it really loud. Get on your mountaintops, teachers, and yell it. Thank you.